What up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Storyteller here. Man, I don't know what happened to this YouTube video I had, I had uploading on Monday night. But it was you know my my weekend recap. You talk about Mother's Day and everything like that. But for some reason, uh, it never uploaded. It's still sitting in upload status. It's like a 11 percent, and that was on Monday. And I tried to repost it, and it won't even let me repost the video. I don't know if I said something crazy in there, but I don't think I did. I just talked a little bit, like I said. The weekend recap, my normal stuff, uh, I, and I think I said something about, you know, the the way the world's going right now. Like, why do we keep giving money, all this billions and billions of dollars to the Ukraine when we still have issues here in our own, in our own country? Uh, I don't understand that. That's just, I think that might have been the only thing I said. And all the good music that just came out over the weekend, Ghostface, uh, Conway the Machine, um, Got a, a couple of freestyles that dropped. Uh, T.I. dropped one today for um, L.A. Leakers, and that joint's hot. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, the baby had one on there not too long ago that was fire. Uh, I don't know if this is stemming from Kendrick going at uh, J. Cole and Drake, and everybody else decided to get their pen sharper. Uh, but I think it's working. Uh, the game came out with a diss track to Rick Ross. I mean, it wasn't the best lyrical, but you know, the game has always had a problem with Rick Ross, so he dropped a diss track, which nobody paid it any mind because it's the game. Um, let's see who else. I, I think that was about it as far as uh, music that came out. Um, make sure you stay tuned for that new Hard to See album called Alien Alien Invasion. It drops 524. Uh, I've already heard it. Um, he has some features from Mickey Fax, uh, Turk Turk, Square to God. Uh, dope, dope project. I guarantee you don't want to miss out on this one. Uh, them all, everybody has on the album spitting, and I don't understand how he does it. His style, is, when I first heard him, his style had always been different from everybody else's. So to hear him on another track with another rapper that has a different style from a different side of the the world, and they uh, they mesh well together in any song that he does, I think that's a talent in itself because. Everybody can't do a song with every with anybody because their, their styles are different or they just not, might not mesh well on that song. But every song that he's done, with anybody he's done it with, has been dope, yo. So y'all make sure y'all go see Hard to See. Or go go follow Hard to See on all social media, uh, Spotify, uh, Distro Kid, uh, uh, so much stuff. He's, he's everywhere. Just search Hard to See. Uh, local VA dude uh, killing it on the rap scene. Just, I think he's about to blow up real soon, especially uh, you know dealing with Mickey Facts. So with that said, I hope everybody, everybody had a great weekend. This is two days late for some reason. YouTube uh, didn't let me upload my last video, so hopefully this one gets out. And uh, today is a very very important day for all NFL fans. The uh, NFL schedule will be released today. Um, the only thing I don't like about that, the NFL is starting to spread these games out to all the uh, the uh, cable cutting services like Hulu and uh, Netflix, uh, Paramount, Peacock. I think the first game of the season is going to be on Peacock, which everybody doesn't have Peacock, and I think it's five ninety nine a month to even have it. Which is it's going to be crazy because everybody's going to be paying for these separate. Uh, apps pretty much on your fire stick and it's going to equal up to paying the same amount for cable so I don't know if they're trying to push people back to cable or what but Netflix has uh, struck a deal with the NFL to show all the Christmas games for the next three years so that in itself is another thing uh, Netflix has started showing some live events they did the Tom Brady roast live which was dope uh, they did uh, somebody else had another live I think uh, Cat Williams had a live uh, stand up on there which I haven't heard anything about yet I haven't heard it was it good or bad uh, so I don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see what they what the NFL does what, the, what they do in the future with these uh, NFL packages and hopefully they don't make it outlandish for people to spend all this extra money just to watch a game uh, they already them players already make millions and millions of dollars I think the game should be free anywhere but I mean, I, and the ads will pay for the, the game. So I don't know. It's just me. Um, just rambling like I always do. But y'all stay safe. Be blessed. Enjoy the rest of the week. Uh, EBR. Uh, we're not doing a show this week, but I'll be popping up here, you know, throughout the week. 
Uh, me and uh, Boy Wonder will actually be in two separate places this weekend. He'll be in Richmond uh, holding it down up there for a uh, a comedy show or a, a dinner detective, and I'll be down here DJing, doing a Sweet 16 party this Saturday. Uh, that should be very interesting because the music is different, but you know I got to rock that Not not Like Us by Kendrick because that, that joint gets uh, gets gets uh, everybody motivated no matter what age group the party is. So with that said, like I said, y'all have a blessed one. Stay up and see y'all next time. Peace.